Hello everyone! In this quick and easy tutorial, I will show you how to customize the relations between posts. Relations Builder for WordPress is a jet engine feature that allows web developers to build one-to-one, one-to-many -to -one, one -to and many-to-many -many relations between different data. It's possible to relate CPT posts, CCT items, taxonomy terms and users all in one handy interface. You can use relations for different use cases, for example, to create a fitness club website to link training with a trainer, or make a travel agency, online courses, and much more. Before we dive into the customization, I want to ask you to hit the like button and check your subscription to our channel so you don't miss any updates. In this video, I want to show you a use case with a real estate website where I have two post types for the type of properties and properties itself. So, on the front end, I can show a related properties on a type single page. Make sure you created the posts and let's get to the settings. Open the relations page through the Jet Engine plugin and create a new item. Here, you need to specify a name for the relation as well as select a parent and a child item. In most cases, it doesn't affect the functionality of what will be a parent and a child. But it's important for more complex relations with grandparents structure. As far as I have only one level relation, as a parent I will have a type of property custom post type and as a child item properties post. Then I need to choose the type of the relation. We have three options. One-to-one, one-to-many -to -one, one -to and many-to-many -many types. One-to-one -one post relation. This relations type implies that one parent post can be connected only to one child post. Let's check an example. One country has only one capital and there are no capitals that are actually related to many countries at once. So the relation between the country and capital post types should be one to one. One to many post relation. This means that one parent post can be related to many other child post types. Let's say one book has only one author, however one author could have written multiple books. So the parent author post type should have one to many relations type with the book child post type. Many to many post relation allows linking a lot of parent posts to many child posts at once. Imagine you have several shops like Zara and H&M where you can sell different products. So, there are many products in each of the shops and there are different shops where each of the product can be sold. So, the relations are many to many. In my case, I can relate property only to one specific type. So, I need one to many relation type. There are also a lot of other settings, such as parent relation if you want to make multi-level relations and additional settings, which you can read about in our tutorial. The link in the description. After you have created relation item, you need to link posts to each other. To do this, open the post type, click on Edit Posts and go to the bottom of the page. Here you will see a blog Child Properties. This is the section where the item should be attached. Click on the Connect Properties button and in the pop-up select a post from the list. Confirm the action by clicking on the Connect button one more time and done! Now the property is attached to the townhouse type. The post can be added only one by one. Also from this section you can easily open the post editor, single page, or disconnect an item. Let's add a relatable post for each type.
To show related posts on the front end, you need two things. A listing template to show posts and query to sort them. I already have a listing created and if you need to create one, watch our how-to video tutorial on the hint. Let's make the query. Go to Jet Engine Query Builder section. Since I need to show posts, we need to create a posts query. In the general settings, select the post tab you want to show. In my case, I want to show posts from the properties post tab. Then open the tab Post and Page. And in the Post in field, select the macro related item. In the macro, we need to select the relation item and the item we want to show. To choose the right option, open your relation settings and check which post type is for which object. You need to choose the same source that we specified in the general settings in the query. For me, it's a child object. In the initial object ID field, select the current ID option because the listing will be on the single of the parent item. Great, let's save the settings. You can also check if you have done everything correctly by enabling query results preview toggle. Specify the page for the preview where the query will be added and we can see the results count. The last step is to add everything on the frontend. For this, I need to create a single template. In the template, I add a dynamic image widget to show the media file and a dynamic field for the post title. Also, listing read widget to display my properties posts. To add a query, open the custom query section in the listing read widget and select the item from the drop-down list. Don't forget to add style to make your page look good. Now you can check it on the front end. Open any post and see the section with the related items. You can see that they are the same as the ones we selected in post settings. If you want to show a parent item on a child page, that is a type of property on the single page of the houses, then you need to make a query to show the related item. And that's it. Now you know how easy it is to link posts from different post types and display them on the page. If you have any questions or ideas, share them in the comments. Thanks for watching this video to the end and see you! Cheers!